my voice does sound very messed up at the minute. I've had flu, I've had kind of a, maybe a bit of a chest infection. My throat's swollen at this side and my voice is still not perfect, but I need to film a video, so yeah, just bear that in mind. Hey, so as you can see by the title, today I, or should I say we, are going to be filming the furry friend tag. I say we, but you can't actually see him because he's currently laid on my bed. At least it's a good thing that he does actually sit with me whenever I film a video anyway and nobody's in. He'll come and just sit on bed next to me, so you don't actually see him, but most of the time he is there when I'm filming. But I think he's more interested in being asleep right now. It's Riley! Hello! So yeah, I thought this would be a fun little video, and uh, a lot of people who follow me on sort of Snapchat and that sort of thing see a lot of him because I just post stuff about him all the time because he's too damn cute and I get bored and he's always there so yeah I thought it should be a fun little chill out thing and talk about my little fluff bud he's just like flopping down though so it's a bit hard to hold but yeah so I found the questions for the furry friend tag online I've got them in front of me and we're just gonna answer some questions about him so number one what is your pet's name his name is Riley you are not at all interested though your hairs in your eyes your hair cut number two what kind of pet is it and what breed Riley is a dog. He is a Bichon Frise or a Bichon Frise or however you want to say it. Bichon Frise sounds really posh when I say it like that, but he's a Bichon Frise. It's a French breed and he's all fluffy and curly and nice and ah. Uh... How long have you had your pet friend? I think we've had him for about seven or eight years. I think we've had him for like seven years, I think. He's an old boy, aren't you? How did you get your pet? So. We ended up with Riley, actually, weirdly enough, Riley was my nan's dog um, at first. So I can't remember exactly how she acquired him. All I know is that I used to go to my nan's after school because my house was further away and my nan's house was near my school. So I'd walk over there and my dad would pick me up when he came home from work. I walked to nan's one day after school, like I always did, and he was there. And I was like, what the fuck, there's a dog in the house. He was cute and all cuddly and stuff. And she'd got him from a family that had him previously. Again, I'm not sure how exactly she got him, but... They used to basically abuse him. He wasn't very well trekked away. You know what I mean? Like, they had older kids that used to kick balls at him and stuff. He was very, very timid. If he moved quickly or he didn't know you, it was very much like his tail would be down, he'd be walking slowly, and he was very easily startled. He wouldn't play with any toys apart from he would chew up toilet roll tubes. That's all he played with. Balls he was scared of because the older guys used to kick balls at him all the time. He was left outside, just really not trekked well. So he was very, very timid and shy. But we actually ended up getting him because my nan was in hospital. I can't remember what for, it was a long time ago. She was in hospital for a while, and so while she, while my nan was in hospital, we were looking after Riley for her. I'm gonna lift you up a little bit, because you're like, Neh. that's a bit better, isn't it? So while she was in hospital, we were looking after him. We all bonded with him, and he was all cute and nice. And my dad actually bonded with him a lot. I decided that my nan wasn't getting him back. <laughs> I think he, like, convinced her, saying, like, you know, obviously she'd been in hospital, she was ill. She lives in a bungalow, so there wasn't much room for him to go around, and... My granddad couldn't really take him for walks, and she couldn't take him for walks. He could still see him. She just, he, he basically came up with any excuse he could to keep him. So we ended up keeping him. And, um, yeah, we've had him ever since. So, that's cool. How old is your pet? Riley is an old boy at 10 years old. Look at the old guy. Slightly losing bladder control. It does dribble a little bit sometimes when he needs to pee or if you get overly excited. Um, I don't put your head down. I'm not, like, shaming you. We're just talking about Sorry, I think I upset him with that one. <laughs> I know you're tired, but you've been sleeping all day. That's all you do, all day, every day. Just just let me exploit you for a video for like two minutes, yeah? Thanks. What is your favourite memory with your pet? I can't think of many, like, massive memories that really stick out. I do remember the first time... I'm going to put you down because you just want to lay down and you're just sliding off my knee. You're just miserable. I'll put you there for a minute. We'll, we'll, we'll revisit when you're a bit less grumpy. But yeah, the first time that he had seeing her interacted with snow was really cool. It got like probably a, a, a fair amount of snow, probably about this much. It went past his legs and like up to his stomach and we let him out and he absolutely loved it. It's quite funny because like now he's kind of a, an off white because he needs grooming and uh, he's white so he gets muck easily. But I think this was around, he, he like just got groomed so it was nice and white, nice and fluffy. We let him out into the snow so first of all, it was camouflaged immediately. <laughs> you see like these eyes. He absolutely loved it. He just, cause it, I think partly because he, he couldn't, he, like his legs were completely covered and it was up to his belly. He was just jumping around. He looked like a little lamb. You could just see him just going whoop, 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 whoop in snow for ages. So we were outside for a while and just playing in snow, building uh, snowmen and throwing snowballs at each other and stuff. And so when it was time to come in, we picked him up and we took him inside. I think because he's got like really, really tight curls, 
and it was all fluffy and probably staticky since he'd just been groomed. He just had like literally massive snowballs stuck to him just all over him, all over his legs and all over his stomach. They were just stuck to him like just ice balls. So he was just like sat shivering looking all cute and we were like oh. So we had to run him a bath and basically just like a little bit in the bottom just to go up to his stomach. Fill it so it wasn't warm, it was just like not quite cold. You know if you're freezing and then you sit in a warm bath it feels scalding hot. So we just had to like leave him there and kept pouring water over him to thaw him out. What are some quirky things about your pet's personality? He's just placid. He's just so soft. You can do anything, like literally, first of all, watch this. I like doing this with him because it's funny. See, no shit's given. <laughs> he just doesn't give a crap. You can do anything with him. Oh, sorry. What does your relationship with your pet mean to you? Um, that's a strange question, I'm not sure how to answer that one. It's just, it's just so nice. I can't imagine not having him. Like, when mom and dad get up to go to work and it's just me and my brother at home, or if my brother's going to work as well, he'll just come and get in bed with me and go to sleep until I get up and then I'll go downstairs and he'll just come back into his bed and just sleep all day. But it's just nice to wake up with him there. My fluffy little buddy. He'll always be there. Like I say, he just sits on my bed with me while I'm filming the video. Then when he's laid down, you can't see him in shot. So you wouldn't know he was there, but he's always there. He's just so cute. Can't imagine without him, smell. My little buddy. What are some of your favourite pastimes with your pet? I don't know, just everything. He don't really do much, that's the thing, it's not like a ooh, it's super funny, it's just like wait a that Oh wow, that were a moan that one it. I moved it, sorry. Oh I thought it was really cute. When I used to have um, a lot of seizures, if you don't know I I haven't had a seizure for probably nearly a year now. But I used to have them like all the time. At least two, three a week. And on bad times, like several a day and he always knew like you know how people say that dogs can sense things he always knew when i wasn't feeling well so whenever i had a migraine i would just sat before i had a fit and after i had one he'd come and sit with me lay down there then yeah he'd come and sit with me and just lay with me he'd lick my face whenever i was feeling well or i was upset or crying it was like lick the tears off my face and just like cuddle with me are oh, you going down now he's lost interest in video he's going downstairs go on then abandoning me but yeah, the amount of times after I had a fit and I'd just come round and he'd just be there licking my face. It's just so cute. And it was just, it's just one of those dogs that whenever you feel upset, he'll just come and cuddle with you. And it just makes you feel instantly better. So I always know that whenever I feel like crap, like if I can't sleep on a night and he's in bed with mum and dad, I like sometimes sneak in and just grab him. And he'll just come and sleep in my bed for a bit. And then once I fall asleep, he'll go back into my mum and dad's room. Little things like that is just so cute and it's just so nice. And the last question, what are some nicknames that you call your pet? Main nicknames are Smiley Riley, because if you don't know, most Bichons, when they're sort of panting or they have the mouth open, looks like they're smiling. Sheep, I always call him Sheep, because he's white and fluffy and he looks like a sheep. Especially when he's been cut and it's a bit shorter. Uh, fluff, fluffy bud, fluffy arse. <laughs> we also refer to him a lot as just dog, which I guess probably a lot of people do, but he does actually respond to it and I think he makes him a little bit confused and I was like, Oh, come here, dog, and he'll, like, come to you. Um, but, yeah, mainly I call him Sheep, just because he looks like a sheep, and it's it's cute. It's like a little lamb. But, yeah, that's all the questions. Um, sorry if this video was quite short. Just a little bit more laid back. I thought it'd be cool to film a video with him, and that was left me. So, he obviously wasn't that keen. Um, but, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe down below to see more from me. I upload a new video every single Thursday. And hit that bell button to be notified when I upload a new video. If you want to, you can follow my social media. It'll all be down there. It's all Jay's Journey FTM. And if you want to see more from Riley, definitely add me on Snapchat. Because, like I say, I post probably too much of him on Snapchat. And also, this is a little bit sad. I don't know. Um, I got bored. <laughs> it is quite sad. But I made Riley his own Instagram account. <laughs> but if you do want to go and follow him over there, it's just at Riley is a sheep. It'll also be linked in the description with all my stuff and everything else. And yeah, so thank you for watching. Come on, journey, and I'll post you next video.